last year I bought a Mystery Ranch Metcalf for my BC elk hunt. My son was coming with me. I wanted to get us both bags. I was looking at the Bear 280, which I picked up the Bear 280. Uh, I wanted something not so big for him, but big enough that uh, if we needed to haul anything out, um, we could do that. So I got him the Metcalf. This year for 2024, Mystery Ranch has come out with a new version of the Metcalf, and that is this right here. The Metcalf now comes in three sizes. It comes in a 50 liter, it comes in a 75 liter, and it comes in a 100 liter bag. There's a number of things that they've changed on the Metcalf that I'm gonna go over today. I'm also gonna incorporate their game bag kit and show you how these specific Mr. Ranch game bags will fit onto the lightweight MT frame and how they keep the meat up off of um, the lower portion of the bag. So we'll get into that in a minute. But for right now, we're gonna talk about this bag right here. Again, this is the Mystery Ranch Metcalf. This is the 75 liter Metcalf. It weighs 5.3 pounds. It's 4,575 cubic inches. It measures 31 inches by 13 inches by 12.25 inches. It's built on the lightweight MT frame. Uh, it used to be the guide light MT frame. Now this is the lightweight MT frame. They've taken some weight, shaved some weight off of the frame itself. It's got YKK zippers, which have those nice covers on the top to keep the weather out. It's got auto locking buckles in strategic places around the bag that we're gonna talk about. It's made of 330D LP Cordura fabric which does great in the weather and is very rugged but also light. Uh, new colors for this year are a buckskin. So it used to be a coyote brown. Now they have a buckskin which is a bit of a lighter brown color. They have the foliage which is a green color. They've got the Sica subalpine like this and now they came out with this new color. Uh, the buckskin is also a new color but this is the ponderosa. This is by far my favorite color that they've ever put out. It is a little bit deceiving when you look at pictures of this on, uh, say, the website. It is a little bit darker. I find um, the brown and the green are a little bit darker in person than they are, say, on the website. So that's something to think about. It's a great combination. It looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, and it's going to do really well. And it costs $739. So, again, we're going to go through this from top to bottom like we always do. I'm going to explain all the features about it. Um, I do have a couple of hunts planned this year where this may come into play. I'm also using the Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 40 from my day trips in and out. And I've got the uh, Whitetail, um, the Treehouse 38 from my Whitetail hunts. But this one may come in handy on a possible moose hunt that may be coming up. And then future elk hunts or bigger game hunts or deer hunts uh, in the future. Okay, so let's go top to bottom and see what's new about this bag. So starting at the top, right off the top, um, they've changed the load lifter height. So if you're a tall person, if you're a short person, you can adjust uh, this yoke here. It does come in uh, small, medium, large, and extra large. Uh, this is the extra large. You can break the Velcro in here and make this go up and down, which I'll show you in a minute. But what's cool is they've added this kind of ladder system onto the top of the frame so that you can take these buckles here it's like a carabiner style style of buckle you just undo it there and you can go whether you are a shorter person and you want the lower level medium or i'm the taller one so i'm going to have it up at the top that gives you a better degree of angle when you have weight in here and you're cinching down your load lifters it's going to give you a better a um, little bit better angle to help you carry that a little bit easier the straps, the foam in the straps feels like it's different. It's a bit of a denser um, foam. The got great lumbar support at the bottom and then it, they went back to like a three piece hip belt instead of a five piece. This used to be sectioned off. So you had five individual pieces. This hugs you a little bit better. Um, and then it's got the waistband, which again cinches from the front over here. They've also changed this up a little bit. They've got the strap going through this uh, elastic piece here. And then you've got your adjustment over here. On the side, they've got molly webbing for accessories, pouches, pockets, things of that nature you want to attach on here. Um, 
There's a number of different accessories you can put on here, bear spray, a lot of different things to check out. Uh, on the sides, they've got these fully stretchable um, pockets for uh, water bottles, for you know anything you want to carry along the side of the bag. You can put a rifle in here if you wanted to. You could put your uh, tripod would go in here. Great. I usually put a water bottle in here as well as my bladder on the inside. So that's matching on both sides. These stretchy, stretchable, stretchable pockets. Uh, the lid, uh, very similar, same lid as before. It's got the two leveled pockets, one on the top, one on the bottom. Um, one of my complaints about the last version of this bag was that if you don't have this fully outfitted with gear, um, once this is full and extended, this will sit nice and comfortably on the top. When it's not, you can see like this, it kind of sags down on the front. So yes, it's a lid, but it's when it's not fully uh, built out, it kind of sits on the, the front of the bag and can add a little bit of extra weight. You could do this in the past, but it didn't always work very well. This is, they've made some adjustments here so that you can fully make this go all the way around the top portion of your frame which will force it to stay as a proper lid. So you just loosen the straps off and bottom. These are one of the portions where they've got the auto locking buckles. Extend it out. And this will now go right over the top as you would expect the lid to do. You can secure it into the sides here and then you can cinch it right down now that's feeling a little bit more like a lid right now the lid is also removable you can take it right off if you don't want it at all that's not a problem they've added um, the straps for the lid are also removable down here so they've kind of attached them on a loop system here you can just loosen this out and take these right off some people like to use the lid, some people don't. You can take these right off all together if you don't want them on there. That's another option that was not on the other bag. Um, going again from the top down, got these straps here with, which secure the top of the bag. Um, before, on the other Metcalf, it was a cinch cord. This is now a buckle and it's a roll closure. So you undo the buckle. This will now extend up to there. It's got nice stitching at the top. So if you needed to extend this bag, you can definitely do that. Okay, lots of room in here. And this is the 75 liter. This is the middle of the road one. And then once you get into this, it's one big cavernous bag which I'll show you more detail in a minute. We'll dive, dive deep in here in a minute, but it does on the inside have a, it's got two tabs that are uh, orange and reflective tabs that you can attach uh, like a Zoid bag to, which is one of their accessory bags. It also has your water hydration pocket in there, but there's no other pockets. It's just one big, huge cavernous bag, okay? And what I found when I when I did originally pick up the Beartooth 80, which is a uh, 270 degree horseshoe zipper and flips open, and then it has a bunch of divisional um, zippered pockets on the top, on the inside of the top of the bag. Um, I didn't use them as much. I thought I really would. Like I did put stuff in there, but I was mainly just bah, rifling through and pulling things in and out, right? So that's what I find. I'm kind of gravitating more to are bags that you can just literally dump stuff in, grab stuff out. It's great. They also have on the side, like they did on the other bag, they've got a zipper, which if you take off the side straps, this zipper goes right down. So if the top of the bag is closed and you need to just run in there and grab something, you've got this side port that you can go in and grab whatever you need and zip it back up. That becomes a little bit more difficult when it's fully extended with gear. You're kind of reaching through and over and around, but 
it is a nice feature. You don't have to always undo the top of the bag. And then when you're done, again, it's a roll closure, so you just roll it up. And with this tab, this top piece being stitched, this heavier seam, it's just a lot easier to roll it back into position. And then once you get down to your height, just swing the buckle around, do it up, and then that's good to go. And then you've got your other straps which will go over the top and cinch that down. You've also got compression straps on the front, and these compression straps are now also removable because they've got this other clip here that you can undo. There's a little tab here, you pull the tab, or you push in the back to unleash the tab. Once that's undone, you can just slide it out. And you can take these off, you can readjust them, you can put them in different spots. They've also stitched this part right down, so this isn't flimsy and movable like it was before, which is also nice, so this will just go back in here for now. But there is options of adjusting and readjusting this bag to fit to be a little bit more um, adjustable for your personal use. Then you just feed it back through and do up the clasp and you're good to go. So there's compression strap here, compression strap here. There's lots of other loops that you can put things through. Going down to the bottom, they've got those carabiner clip style clasps. Again, you can remove and adjust these how you need to. So this is gonna be at the bottom here uh, where your load shelf is, if you need more space to widen it or loosen it, you can use these for that. And they just clasp back together. You're going to see these yellow tabs on the bag as well. Those are attachment points um, for other pieces as well. There is another bag. The Gravely 18 is 1155 cubic inch bag. It's about 1.8 pounds and it will piggyback onto this bag and the other Metcalfs, the other new Metcalfs. So what you would do with that, when, when that arrives, I'll show you how to, that works, but um, you basically fold the straps of that tiny, of that little bag, it's like a little day pack bag. You fold them into the back of the bag. There's like a pocket you put the straps into and then it's got these straps on it, uh, like these carabiner clips, you want to do those it piggybacks on and then those clips that are on the gravelly wrap around and attach onto these tabs here on the side here and you've got even more storage. So not only do you have the storage capacity of this bag, you'd have the storage capacity of the gravelly and then when you get to camp, if you're going on day trips in and out, you don't want to haul this thing around. You might want to, I usually do, but you might not want to. You might want to go, you know what, I'm going to go a couple hours that way. I'm just going to grab the gravelly. So you take the gravelly 18 off, throw some stuff in for the day, throw that on, and now you've got a lighter weight setup that you can move around with. So that's really cool. That's a new thing for this year as well. So going into the load shelf, I'll show you how that works. Uh, to access your load shelf, actually before I go to the load shelf, so adjust, to adjust the yoke, what you're going to do is there's a pull tab here, you open this up, and almost every Mystery Ranch bag has this. There's a plastic piece in here that you're going to pull out. And then going down the back here, you'll see Velcro. You push this down, breaks the Velcro. You can now adjust this up and down to your various height. So if you're short, you can have it down there. If you're taller, you need it higher up. And then there's a, a max line. There's different lines here to show you where you are, don't go obviously higher than the max. So we're gonna come down a bit for that. And you pull that out. And then this just goes right back into the tab here again. And these wrap around and that's the support for the back here. So now to get into your load shelf, you're gonna fully extend your load lifter so that you can get to this buckle in here. Right in here, there's a buckle. You undo that. And then these simply just, now you undo all the straps on the side of the bag as well. 
And then once that's done, these little tabs here are hugging the frame. They just come right over top. Let's peel that over the corner like that and over the other corner and that's it. Now you're into now you're into your load shelf. So this right here is going to be your load shelf. Again, it's also adjustable. You can fully extend it here. And then this comes now here we go at the bottom, what I was talking about before, if you need more room for your load shelf, you need to adjust these at the bottom here. So if we undo this Velcro, we can give ourselves some more room. Same with this side. Feed that through. Now that's lengthening your shelf, which you can and these and now you're getting more and more room on your shelf as you can see there okay so there we go that's a pretty good amount of room you can you can go even farther than that if you want uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to throw a game bag onto here and I'll show you how that works. So this is the Mystery Ranch game bag kit. You can buy these game bags in individual sizes or you can buy the kit. So this kit comes with two 60 liter game bags, two 40 liter game bags, a 20 liter and then the Zoid bag which is the bag that it comes in. So here's the Zoid bag here. Uh, nice and it's all, they're all tucked away in, in this bag here. And then inside, we're just gonna grab, so here's the 260s, here's the 240s, and then the 20 is here. So we're just gonna grab one bag for now. They've got a drawstring to draw down, and then they've also got these carry handles. But the best part about these bags are right here. In between the handle there are these tabs and these tabs will hook onto the top of this frame right here like this. Genius! Genius! Genius design! Why? Because look if you have weight in here, and this isn't attached, it's going to sag, which is going to pull you back, because it's going to be lower on your back. These tabs will pull, keep the weight up, high on the frame, but on top of that, this year with this bag, they've adjusted the load shelf to come up higher than the belt. So if you look here, you can see that the load shelf starts, basically midway up where the belt is, whereas previous models it was lower. That's just going to give you a little bit extra height, height on your back. But now with these bags, you're winning even more because they're going to stay in that position. So I'll grab one of the 60 ones. I've got a pillow here. We're going to simulate meat and throw a pillow in the bag. It's also handy is that they're marked. So this is a 60 liter, as you can see there. All right, so we got an elk quarter, or you've got a deer or whatever in here. You're gonna cinch the bag up like this. You can carry it, you can hang it on the tree while you're doing the rest. But then when it's time to load out, you're gonna find those tabs. The tabs are on one side of the bag. Find your load shelf. Hook the corners of the bag onto the frame, like so. Voila. And then all you're going to do is bring your bag back up. And then with the use of your compression straps, you're going to strap your bag back down to the frame. 
to undo the Velcro. I love these Velcros, but again, as in previous years, they don't stitch them in. So you're running the risk of losing this vital piece, especially if you have, you know, maybe you're a little OCD like me and you want to have everything neat and tidy and tucked away once it's all put together. That's what those straps are for. It's going to come up and attach to the top of the frame like this. You're then going to cinch it nice and tight. You want to avoid any kind of movement as much as you can. You can also crisscross these. So that's another thing. You could go crisscross like that. That's another option. Okay. And then you're just going to roll back the excess and cinch it down. These corners are on, holding it up. It's great. Then what we'll do is we'll put our lid back on over the top. Now our load lifters again are in the top portion. It's going to be best for me. So it's simulated, but you get the idea. You've got your meat in there and then all you're going to do is throw your back on. And again, these tabs are holding it up. It's also raised up um, with the meat shelf being higher off the bag. But again, the belt's going to sit at your hips. It's not going to sit where you wear your pants. Tighten up here. You just pull these forward to tighten them up. There you go. And there you have it. There's your bag. There's your load. And then you grab onto your load lifters up at the top. And you pull them down. And cinch that brings the weight forward at the top makes it a lot more easier to haul things around. There you go. That feels really good. That's up off my back. The weight is held through your hips as well. That feels really good. Now it's just a pillow. It's not any kind of weight, but you get the idea. So that feels really good. So this belt, this is the extra large. This is a fully extended Belt, depending on the company, I'm usually wearing a 38, between a 38 to a 42 pant size, depending on what it is. That's your belt fully extended on the um, extra large frame. So yeah, that's going to be really cool to use. I'm really looking forward to trying this out and using this the new version of the load shelf. Um, I think they've made a lot of cool improvements to this bag that made the best bag in their lineup, the most popular bag in their lineup, um, really even that much better. So if you're kind of sitting on the fence, you're looking at Mystery Ranch, you want to get a Mystery Ranch bag, you want something that you can cinch down for day, um, for day use, that you can also take on, you know, three to five day, maybe a six day hunt, then, then look at the Metcalf, you can, depending on the size, you can even go farther or have more room to go farther if you're going, uh, you know, on a, a really long expedition where you need, you know, eight, nine, ten days. You might want to, you're going to want to go up to probably the hundred liter, but depending on how you pack, what you want to take with you will also depend on what size of bag you want, but definitely check out these Mystery Ranch Metcalfs, these new Metcalfs, they've done a lot of cool things to them like we just talked about. Uh, I'm really excited to use this and see how it does. And then just put it back together, you just do up all the straps again on the side, get your lid back on. I also like the top of the frame is a great way to have a handle. Um, I know that uh, that's not necessarily what it's designed for, but it is nice to, to grab it like that. You're all good to go. So that is the new Mystery Ranch Metcalf 75 liter bag. I think we've covered everything uh, from the new stuff and the existing stuff from years previous.
Uh, it's also got the compression straps on the bottom uh, should you want to carry anything down there. Uh, these, and again, these game bags are going to be awesome. Can't wait to get these game bags in use on a hunt as well. You really use the shelf. You can also use this overload shelf, not just for meat, but for hauling other gear. Should you want to carry something else in, you can put a tree stand on the front of here. You can put a tree stand in the middle here. There's lots of different ways to utilize these bags and use them uh, to the best, however it best suits you when you are out in the outdoors. So for more about Mystery Ranch, head on over to mysteryranch.com. Check out the link in the description. Uh, I've tagged a bunch of things down there that you can uh, click on to check out. And then if you're in the market for game bags and you're going to be coinciding it with a Mystery Ranch pack, then I'm going to be recommending these game bag, the Mystery Ranch game bag kit. Even though I haven't physically used them yet, the way that they're designed is perfectly suited for the Mystery Ranch style of bags to help keep the weight up off your lower back and more onto the higher points of your back and your shoulders. So again, check those things out. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.